I hate videos. Now you may be wondering, if I hate videos, what the heck am I doing here? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are in the world today. My name is Inga and I am the host of this show called Inspiration from Inga. You may be wondering why it's called that. Well, the world that we live in today, there is no shortage of negativity. So the reason why I began my, my YouTube channel and this live show is because I would like to inspire others towards positive change. And that's why it's called Inspiration from Anger. Welcome to season one, episode 30 of The Power of Networking. Isn't it insane? When I think about it, it's really insane when I think about it because I think that I never thought that I would reach episode 30. Um, but I'm here and I'm showing up every single day. As you know, I hate video, but I'm here to serve you. So I am known as the networking ninja. The reason I'm known as that is because I teach a process to allow others to grow the ideal network on LinkedIn with an investment of just 12 minutes a day. If you'd like to know more, send me a message and I'll tell you why 12 minutes a day is such a powerful thing to do. If you're watching live, please drop us a comment and let us know. Let us know who you are. If you're on, on YouTube, by the way, if you're on YouTube, please let us know who you are and where you're tuning in from everyone else. Um, I'm so excited to introduce you to my friend, Dorothy. Honestly, words fail me when I try to describe her because she is truly a wonderful person. So without further ado, I'd like to add her to the stream and introduce her to you. Welcome, Dorothy. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that was quite the introduction. And I thank you so much for that, Inger. You it's, inspire me daily, so. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, you know, I, I appreciate that it takes time out of your day for you to be here. And I, I'm just so excited to introduce you to my friends that are on the other side of the screen. Yay. So with, please, could you let us know who you are, what you do, and uh, we'll take it from there. Oh, I, sorry, you're talking to me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been an amazing 24 hours. So let's just put it that way. So yes, as Inger said, I am Dorothy O'Dell. I am the author of The Overcomer. And I am also, what she doesn't know is I've kind of switched gears. Um, so today, this weekend, I'm at doing the rest of the pre-launch, but I'm super excited because I make sure that people are visible meaning I have three different ways to do that. So if you're an author, if you're an overcomer, and if you're a business owner, I can help you. So I, I found that coaching really wasn't what God has called me to do. I am one of those type of people that loves to promote the heck out of people. So mm -hmm. On my shows, that's what I do. I have the Unstoppable Overcomers and I have the Power Half Hour. And 
this is new for my authors out there you know being an author it's you know what it's like to try and get your name out be uh to the masses and just get you have this labor of love that takes a little bit of time to write and then what you know what's next so i am doing book reviews but i'm doing book reviews with a twist so you can get your standard book review or you can take the entire package and not only will you be featured on my website but you can also get your professional um interview done depending on which which way you go and you know how that helps plus you're part of my amazing network and i can tap everybody in to that network at the same time so you know you just don't get to appear on my show now you're part of my family you're part of my network you're part of this this year god was very strategic in telling me this is the year of collaboration so that is why i'm out to create massive impact and make sure that people know who you are because you're important and it you know and that's important to me showcasing other people putting you everybody front and center that's what i'm out to this year wow <laughs> you said so much in such a short period of time i mean we're only last for six minutes but <laughs> what something that i want to touch on quickly is um i'm not sure that you know this but my word for this year is collaboration <laughs> god showed me that this is what i need to be pursuing as i go into 2022 and beyond um wow i'm so excited but i also see that the, the comments are on fire <laughs> so let's go over to the comments and cool. um just say hi to everyone sure oh wow hello roxana thank you for being here you're here <laughs> so you're here <laughs> nothing else to do nothing else to do thank you for tuning in she says she's tuning in from ontario canada whoop, whoop. another ontario one i love it right? uh roxana if you didn't know both dorothy and i are in ontario as well so let's connect let's chat and uh, explore some um some options for collaboration who knows hello oh my gosh this lady right here mm -hmm. dorothy if you're not connected to her please you need to be um I yes <laughs> i have I to see. write her name down yes i see <laughs> shri is an amazing person um she adds so much value she is actually um a coach she helps others show up on video and I can tell you, you know, I often talk about the first time that I met her. And I think, I think Sri, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you thought that it was a negative experience for me. But I have to tell you, it wasn't. Um, that's why I'm still connected to you. Otherwise, communication would be cut off. <laughs> but Sri is amazing. Um, the first time I met her, it was, you know, I usually, I go on to a networking call and um, for me, I want to focus on the person that I'm meeting with so that I can learn more about them and what they do, who they are and how I can help them. I think that's everyone's approach. But that call with her was so impactful because she didn't really say much about herself. She made me talk. And she told, she helped me with how I should show up online, um, you know, and that was my first interaction with her. And to and today, honestly, when I think of her, Sri, I think of you as a sister. So thank you. Thank you for all the value that you add. And um, yes, Dorothy and you should connect. You are both amazing. So sure. ah, hello to you. Raven from South Africa. Thank you for tuning in. Raven is my niece. Um, awesome to see you, Raven. This is another lady that I'd like you to in, to to meet. Um, 
Dorothy. I actually met with her earlier this week. Mm -hmm. Her name is Mary, Mary Wells, and amazing. She's a cancer survivor. She's an overcomer. She definitely is. So, um, yeah, I I would suggest definitely you. we'll have to meet with her. Oh, and she is also an overcomer, by the way. Um, she may, yeah, she may not approach life in that way, but she really is. Um, here we go. <laughs> Roxana says, I get that. I have a video to do, and it makes me so nervous just thinking about it. Actually, just picture your audience naked. It's all good. <laughs> I actually, you know, um, since she says this, let me ask you, Dorothy, like, what was it like for you showing up on video for the first time? Okay, so two years ago, July, I had a coach that said, you must go live every day. Pray about it, whatever God puts on your heart, and say what's, what it is you don't want to say. And I'm just like, okay, so I, I said there's no way, but then I just picked up my phone and I did it. And it's since then, it's I did it consistently for a year, six days a week. Um, and then most oftentimes, um, now I still do it at least five days a week. If, if I'm not out on video five days a week, you know, it's because I'm in the trenches doing, um, some behind the scenes work to make sure that I can, um, really impact my clients in a better way. Uh, so generally though, I am, I'm, at least five days a week, um, sharing something like if something comes to me or if I learn something, I'm, I just, I hit go, I hit live and in and, and a way I go, it's, 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 it's something that you just got to do. Um, they say repetition is the mother of skill. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I agree with that. Um, you just have to do it and it becomes easy, easier. It, I know I'm a natural, I believe. So that's why I just do it. <laughs> Yeah, it, it does become easier um, with repetition for sure. And uh, it's funny that you say how you started because that was how I started. Um, that video that's in my intro is the actual first video that I've ever done online and it was live. Um, and I can tell you leading up to it, I was... Uh, <laughs> I was a ball of nerves and I practiced and practiced and practiced. And then in the end, I ended up just saying what I wanted to say <laughs> is that I hate video. <laughs> right. Um, but I love to see you and I love to catch you live. Um, I know you go live more on Facebook and I, I love to see you just, you know, you're walking outside and you're just going live. Like um, that's so inspiring to me. Well, part of my thing when I do that on my lunch break, when it's because I want people to know that when I say that I do something, I'm actually doing it. So when I tell people part of my self care program is getting out there and walking, I want people to say notice and say, Hey, wow, she does what she says. And that was part of my thought process of doing that. And not only to mention that my, I have a very short window of time, um, you know, so I make the most of my time. So if I, and the most impact I can do, and I know that several of my coaches have said, um, doing a video is the most impactful thing that you can do. And yet nine times out of 10 people won't do it. Um, so if you're a business owner and you're listening to this, you need to get on video because that's where your clients want. Yes. Um, Honestly, video, there are so many benefits to it, um, really. And if you don't know the benefits, go back and look at my content this week um, and last. I've been speaking about the power of video and showing up on video. And uh, I can just say, truly, it is impactful when, when we show up. Um, so let's continue saying hello. Hello to you, Jeanette. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Dorothy, how are you? He's asking. Oh, I am well. Very awesome. well. I thought awesome. he was asking you. He's asking <laughs> us. He's asking us. us. Well, I actually yes. see that there's someone that's tuning in from Texas, and I can't tell 
who it is. So I'm just gonna look on my phone quickly. Um, Probably Kenny D. Let's see. Let's oh, see. Let's see. North Texas. I still don't see it. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it for you. Okay. I'd like to acknowledge them. Um, oh wow. <laughs> Can you believe I'm still scrolling? <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, I think. Oh, it's Whitney Cock. Good morning, Whitney. Thank you for being here. Awesome to have you. Um, and also, by the way, just so you guys know, I do have a, a video challenge that's coming up um, in a few in a few days. Um, we're still ironing out the details, but anybody that's interested, please reach out. Um, it's designed to help to help you show up, um, just like Dorothy and I did. So please let me know. Good morning, Jessica. Thank you for tuning in. Nice to have you. And hello to my brother. Saw from my brother. <laughs> As Russ says, Usama's in the house. Yes, <laughs> Usama's in the house. He says, we are the living legends. And of course, I love to see all the networking that's happening in the comments. So awesome to see. Katie McDermott, hello. thank you. Good morning. Um, this is another lady that you should connect with. I wrote I, her name down. <laughs> <laughs> Katie is. Um, she has a very. She has a similar background to you, and I will say that she is very, very enthusiastic about manufacturing. Um, she's amazing, and what an awesome connection to have. Uh, thank you for your baby. Sorry, go ahead. Does she know Gail? Yes, yes, she does. Okay. Well, yes. you when you said manufacturing, the first person that came to mind was Gail. Yes, right. And um, Gail will tell you that she's pretty new to manufacturing, but um, she right now she's in Chicago. At she, um, she was at a, a show, a trade show actually uh, for PT Expo. Um, which ended yesterday. So if you're watching, Gail, hello. Hope you're doing awesome. And by the way, Katie, thank you for your video this morning. I will respond shortly. Um, oh, my gosh. Let me just get through the comments. And yes, Mary says, you must celebrate because you cannot serve by yourself. Oh, collaborate. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That is so true. Oh, yeah. Gail is in the house. <laughs> She says, checking in from Chicago post-convention. Yes, her and I still have to meet up. It's, it's, we've been trying. It's just our schedules have not jammed. It's okay. Um, it'll happen when it's supposed to, right? Exactly. That's what I believe. Yep. Yeah. I'm not forcing it. It will happen. No. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, my gosh. Katie says, my word of the year is collaboration. I believe you did. <laughs> I believe you did. Um, remind so me again what it was. And then, whoop, whoop. Good morning to you, Farah. Thank you. She's tuning in from Toronto. Nice Ooh, to another see you. One. Yes, I love um, that. She and I actually connected, I think it was, I would say, in 2020, actually, um, when I was doing some event work. So thank you for tuning in, Farah. Um, and if you're still here, let's meet up and, and have a call sometime, please. I would love to catch up and find out what's happening in your world. Um, okay. And then we have hello to you, Chrislyn. Hello. Tuning in from South Africa. Thank you, Chrislyn. And I will say, you know, um, the majority of the people here I've never met in person. Wow. And, and you've got quite a bit here. Yeah. Isn't it amazing to see like how um how small this world has become because of the internet? Well, right. that's funny because if the pandemic would never have 
hit, I would never have found my, I, uh, I, you can have more than one best friend. I have seven best friends and <laughs> I would never have met that them if I had not, if the pandemic hadn't hit and forced us to do mm-hmm. what we're doing now and networking. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I met them at a pivotal time in my life and, and that's why, you know, it, it's very important to do that. Yes. Um, <laughs> the pandemic, a lot of people felt or feel that it was a negative experience. Um, but I choose to look at, you know, whether it's negative or positive, I, I choose to look at the silver lining. Right. Yep. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. And good morning, Jim. good morning, Jim. Thank you for being here. Um, oh my word, Usama says this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Usama. I, I've had the pleasure of meeting Usama a couple of times, like through video, through Zoom and stuff like that, but he doesn't get strike me as a shy guy. I mean, it's been a while and I need to get him on my show. Um, that will happen too when it's supposed to, but we we connected and then it's just like one of those things where life gets in the way. <laughs> yeah, life gets in the way. Um, but you know, like I like we say and we believe everything will happen at the right time. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to actually list uh just look, I wanted to acknowledge the you know individuals that are here, but I'm seeing some great comments. So um I just want to just look at it. So Osama says consistency breeds relevancy and radiancy. Absolutely. So true. And I guess this is Whitney. She says, love the idea of going live outside on your lunch break. She walks at lunch too. Yeah. I find, you know, people have nothing to do at lunch or very little to do. So at least you have their attention at that time. And for me, you know, I just try and do everything when I can. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mary says, I did videos with my son encouraging people before there was ever a business. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Kenny says, without video, Inger, you never would have met a lot of your network. We would be without you. Um, wow. Wow. Thank you. Um, yeah, before I get emotional, let's move on. <laughs> Jessica says, Usama, great to see that handsome, smiling face. A great way to start my Friday. Yes. And with the uh, way Usama is, it is, um, it's afternoon. So, awesome to see you, Usama. Thank you for being here, my brother. Um, yes. Mary says, I go live on videos all the time. You're sharing your story. Just do it. Exactly. You know, going live or being on video, it just allows you to be able, it's a, it's a platform to be able to share your story and connect with people. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And we have our friend in the house. Good morning, Scott. Thank you for Good tuning morning. in from Oregon. I have to connect, reconnect with Scott. I am. I met him on the Global Tea Break. I didn't realize he was part of that, and I know he's on the Russ and Russ and Scott yeah. uh, show. But I didn't realize he does things with authors too. So I got to check with him. Yes, he does. He does Amazon Lives um, with authors. I was on his show um, in January awesome. because I just launched, I just published and launched my book. Um, I didn't know that. Why yeah. did I not know that? Uh, because I haven't really spoken about it, but I'll show you quickly. This is my book. Um, I love that. Thank you. It's, it is, um, it's an Afrikaans book, teaching Afrikaans to kids ages 8 to 13. Um, And it's mainly focused on kids that are the children of expats, South African expats that, you know, their parents speak Afrikaans, but they don't. 
Um, yeah, so I was on his show and it was amazing. Thank you again, Scott. Uh, and I love to see all the wonderful comments and seeing everybody just network. We're 25 minutes in. We've only really been talking about comments. <laughs> but this is awesome. Um, Whitney, you and I can talk about why it's not showing up afterwards. Oh, and Mary Well says she forgot to mention that she's from Ohio. Ooh, Ohio. I love Ohio. <laughs> and let me see, let me see if there's any other people that have shown up. I just want to acknowledge them and then we can move on. Oh, hello. Hello to you, Dan Bigger. Thank you for tuning hello. in. Um, Dan hosts the USA Manufacturing Hour on uh, Twitter. It's a Twitter chat that happens every Thursday. Um, so if you'd like to, you can just, you can join Dorothy. It's open to everyone. Cool. And I'd you said it was on Twitter? Yes, it's a Twitter chat that happens at 2 p.m. on Thursdays. Uh, EST, by the way, if anybody is outside wow. our time zone. <laughs> anybody, I know there's a lot of us. Oh, and oh, Katie, look, look what Katie is writing. Would you like to read this for us? My word for the year is encourage. This was the word given to me. I take the same quiz every year to pick my word. There's always impactful and true when I reflect upon the last year. I'm curious wow. as to what quiz that is. Yes, share it with us, Katie, so that we can also use it next time. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh. Someone else is commenting, and I'm not sure who it is. Uh, they said, looking good, Inger. Love seeing your growth. I'm thinking it could be my friend Robert Johnson. Um, but please confirm if somebody is in the comments. Usama, I'm not sure. You know, but, I'm not sure what you're referring to, but thank you. <laughs> and here... Go ahead and read this for us, please. Video is so powerful because of its ability to transfer emotion. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I think with this text messaging, I mean, I love text messaging because it gets my point oh, across, no. but then I realize, but then I hate it at the same time um, because people can misconstrue how you, like the emotion behind it. And nine times out of 10, I have to, to say what I like, pick up the phone and call them anyways if it's something that you know yeah. that is really bad but yeah. um not bad like they took it the wrong way but that's why video that's and it's funny because i find that even with my girlfriends all like i forget i hate text i hate texting a long message so i'd rather pick up the video hit play and go you know say my what i gotta do and send so all my friends are getting used to me just sending video instead of text messages <laughs> That's cool. Um, Katie actually sends a lot of video uh, in LinkedIn, in the right. DMs. Right. And uh, she's amazing at it. Me, I often have to think about with, you know, with I really want to. And, I, and it's really, truly because I really do hate video. Um, I know that seems so impossible because I'm on a show. <laughs> And I, I do show up on live shows um, hosted by other people, but I really do hate video. <laughs> and most of the time, um, previously before my live show, if you had a call with me on Zoom, you would have not seen my face, <laughs> except in a picture. So How can we reframe that, though, so that you can get past that? We're going to have to, I'll um, work with you to reframe that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just, you know what, for me, doing this and showing up on live video is all about service. And I'm happy to do that. Um, even though it's something that I don't like doing, um, mm -hmm. I'm happy to do it because I know that I'm called to do it. Yes. That's, that's what it is. Um, and then we have Denise Lipka Carbonell saying good morning. Thank you for tuning good in, morning. Denise. Lovely to see you. And yes, Jessica says, it's amazing how natural being on the video has become after 
all the Zoom meetings, mm -hmm. right? Um, and Scott says, Inga and I had so much fun on Amazon Live. By the way, if you're an author and you'd like to um, do an Amazon Live for your book, uh, Scott actually offers a package that uh, that that he can um, do that with you. So please uh, connect with him and check check it out. <laughs> And Dan Bigger says, Katie, you missed a good one. Um, traveling today and thought I'd drop by. Thank you for being here, Dan. Awesome to see you. Thank oh you. my gosh, I'm not sure who LinkedIn user is. Yes, I've written a book. Um, please confirm who you are. <laughs> I, I, uh, I can't see for some reason. There is something that you could, people can click on so that it shows their name, only I don't. Yes. I don't know what it is. Yes, I so I've um I had a friend who had this issue and she was so frustrated about um not being able to show up properly in the comments and the two of us worked it out. So <laughs> no man, not the person is commenting more, so I don't know who it is. Please just drop your name so that I know. And Gail says hello to all busy comments. Yes. <laughs> Um, Osama says he has to go, so see you soon, Osama. Thank you for being here, and I'll just go get through quickly. I just wanted to see. Oh, good morning. Good, good morning. morning lady. Like, yeah. She's awesome. Thank she you. shows up everywhere. I love her. Thank you for being here, my sister. Um, and she says good, good morning. morning to you. Oh, Scott says yes. Um, it is Robert Johnson, and Robert Johnson was my first guest on my show on my last show um and there was a reason why i decided to to host him first he is the person that helped me to get started on linkedin um i mean i i had been using linkedin the wrong way for many years <laughs> and one day i um i'll just tell you quickly on february 4th he made a post and he said, reach out to me if you would like to get started on using this platform and growing through it. And the rest is history. Awesome. <laughs> he, he helped me a tremendous amount and uh, I'm just so grateful to him. Anyway, people, let's get to the topic. It is, um, it, it, this is inspiration from Ingus. So let me ask you a few questions with okay. regards to, um, to inspiration. And by the way, if you're wondering what our topic is, it is the power of networking. And honestly, if you look at the comments, that alone is a huge testimony to the power of networking and just getting to know one another. So if you're in the comments, please connect with one another and just see where it takes you. A lot of people wonder, but how do you start? Um, you know, how do you start connecting and, and how do you start networking um, mm -hmm. on LinkedIn? And yesterday I had the privilege of co-hosting a Twitter chat last night um, where we spoke about exploding your network on LinkedIn. And I, I shared a lot of tips, right? But the, the host of the show, her name is Natalie. And Natalie Gregg, she said, um, Inga, what is your number one tip? And my number one tip for getting started with networking is this. Start with a simple, hello, how are you? With some people, you may get monosyllabic answers, <laughs> but with others, it will, it will spark a conversation mm -hmm. and you'll just go, go and grow from there. So just remember, um, you know, just say hello. Just like when you see, when you see somebody in person for the first time. Don't start with giving them your business card and telling them how, what you do, right? Um, 
but yeah, just say hello. And I see that there are some people on YouTube that are watching. So please drop us a comment and let us know where you're tuning in from. Um, it's awesome, awesome to see that there are so many people that we're impacting just with the beginning of the show. Um, by the way, if you watched my intro video, you would have seen a word that is um, very foreign to the Western world, and that is Ubuntu. And what does Ubuntu mean? The short version is, I am because we are. And I can truly say that that is the truth for me. Dorothy, um, you and I have been connected for a bit. Mm -hmm. And you and so many others have helped me to become the best version of myself that I am today. And it is because of me seeing these things and then striving to emulate them, right? Mm -hmm. And knowing that, you know, you all are people. And just like you guys, I am a regular person. Um, I have my flaws. I have my strengths. So if there's anything that I can teach you today or any day, it is to take inspiration from your community. Um, I never would have published this without seeing other people do it, like you, Dorothy, right? Um, and I'm sure that's the same for everyone. So take inspiration from your community and strive to become the best version of yourself every single day. That's all that you can do. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, Dorothy, oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's talk. So, <laughs> otherwise, we'll have a two hour show. <laughs> Tell us, Dorothy, what inspires you? Uh, what it actually inspires me is leaving a legacy uh, for many generations. And, and that sounds canned, but really, I look at the legacy um, that was left before me and I. I think, okay, how can, what do I want to leave for people? So when I'm gone, what do I want people to say about me? And I want people to, to know, number one, that, you know, they matter. Because to me, that people matter. And through several of the things that I've overcome in my life, um, there were times that I didn't think that I did matter. And there were times that things were so in my mind, they were so hard that I felt very alone. Um, so my mission is to make sure that nobody feels that way and that they know that there's other people out there that they can be connected to. And in some of those this year, well, the last year, actually, I guess the two in 2021, when I decided to reach out and build my network and build my community, that's when everything started really uh, happening for me. And I always believe that everything happens for a reason. I may not know the reason at the time, but I know that things do happen. So when I, for instance, I know now why I met Jen Zahari and I met Jen Zahari on LinkedIn and I was supposed to be on a podcast, um, you know, sh to share my story, share my book and things like that. And I never did get on that podcast, but that podcaster introduced me to Jen and Jen, since I've met her, um, she truly is one of my best friends and I truly, you know, adore everything that she stands for. And without her, I would have never met the six other women that I met to help get me through one of the hardest years of my life, the most challenging years. Um, and I thought I went through a lot growing up. <laughs> last year was um the icing on the cake of that uh for i i was have been very open about my story about losing my dad to cancer and um that thank god that i had met jen because jen and and those women what are the ones that surrounded me and helped me get through those challenging times and people on LinkedIn, like Russ Hedge would uh, randomly and still does randomly messages out to me and says, Hey, how are you doing? Tim Sean is another one, you know, and, and yourself and just certain people that I've connected with um, 
Kenny D is another one that just says, Hey, you know, how are you doing? And I never had that before. Um, and so it's nice to, you know, have these people that, and that's what I want. I want to make sure that other people get that because we all are going through something at some time that we never know, because it's not like, uh, I'm an open book, <laughs> but not everybody is an open book. Um, so, you know, you could be going through, through so much. Like I've had people say, thank you for sharing that message because without you, I would have ended my life today or without that message. I, you know, I would not, I would have not, you know, been on the path that I am now. So, you know, people may not message on your videos and on your posts, but people are watching you. And you may never know the impact that you have on these people. But if you just think if you would have just kept your mouth shut and not said anything on that video that you hated doing, that person could be dead right now. Yeah. And that that is what one of my very first coaches had put that in my head. We are our story is connected with certain people. So by you opening your mouth and sharing that mm -hmm. has helped somebody else. So it's kind of selfish if you don't do that video or don't do that post because that person's life could have been different. And that has always stuck in my head. And that's why on the days that I don't even feel like it, like even when my dad was passing away, I was like, I would get out, I would do a walk and just share what was on my heart because I knew somebody out there was going through the same thing. And the best thing about video is it lives forever. So if you didn't watch that, the right person 10 years from now that think, the, thinks of stopping and, and not continuing on their dream or ending their life, they will see it at the moment that they need to see it. Wow. You've touched on so many things. Um, one thing is, you know, leaving a legacy, right? And I think anybody wants to be remembered. But what you, it's, it's actually really your choice what you are remembered for, right? And so we, you and I both, we strive to, to, to have that positive impact, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we love, we want to leave a legacy. And, uh, you know, you spoke about, you know, people mattering. And I want to highlight something that I've, I've heard over the years, which is to the world, you are one person, but to one person, you could be the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's so important to just continue to share your story and strive to make an impact because you just don't know. And something that you said, <sighs> there are so many people really that are just watching. You don't necessarily know, but they're watching. They're there. I have... I have had, I've received so many messages from people saying, Inga, thank you for your video. Um, it was so awesome, you know, to, to hear you. But the thing is, they don't publicly show that they, they're watching, right? Like, but you get those messages sometimes, which is amazing. Um, you know, so anyway, let's move on. Um, growing up, who was your role model and why? That's a good question. I have led a very sheltered life in some areas now that I'm looking back at it. Some areas was sheltered and some was not. So it, I didn't do a whole, like TV wasn't my thing. Um, I read a lot of books. Okay, so I had, now that I'm talking, now I get this. So my my dad's sister, um, she passed away of cancer seven years, seven, eight years ago. And she was the first one that brought me on to reading. And so, and it wasn't just any book, it's romance novels. My aunt was a closet romance novel holic. And well, not so closet because she was very open about it. So <laughs> she, I was there babysitting when I was 16 years old. And so she introduced me to this and I was hooked. Like, to this day, if my downtime 
is reading a romance novel. And um, that's what inspired me to do the book reviews because I thought, how can I get a hold of these amazing books? And, you know, there's just so many amazing authors out there. So how could I do that? And so she inspired me. This woman was also afraid to travel. She was afraid to, like, she lived in Hamilton at the time when she was alive and my grandparents lived in Kingsville. So for those of you that don't know, that's like a three and a half, four hour drive. She refused to do that herself. She would hop on the train and my uncle would put her on the train and she would come down. Um, so, but she was fierce. Like she, oh my gosh, she took the bull by the horns on everything. She was a legal assistant. Um, a legal secretary, I guess is what you could call it when back when she was able to work. And mm -hmm. she just knew so much. And she just, she wanted me to talk to her daughter to get her daughter to conform to what she thought. And I'm like, it's like, there's nothing wrong. Like my, my cousin's um, bipolar schizophrenic. So, but my aunt never understood that, you know, there's different Stacy that is her normal and I am my normal and you just have to co-live. Like she didn't understand that. I know all this now after my aunt's gone, I wish I would have known this now instead of like growing up back then, but she was just so powerful. And um, I can remember, I used to have this thing where um, I wanted to make sure people knew how much I loved them, especially before they passed away. And I wrote a letter to her and I knew that her time was borrowed. And so I wrote a letter to her and, and I never heard from her. So I said to my uncle, I'm like, did, did Aunt, Aunt Colleen actually get the letter? I want to know if she read it. He goes, absolutely. She read it. And you know what? I have no idea what's in that letter. She would told me, she told her husband to buzz off and that it was between her and I, but she kept reading it over and over and over again and would put it in her robe that she would have to wear. And so and he said, I don't know what's in that letter, but I know she absolutely loved it. And that um, I, I just wanted her to know how much of an impact she had on me. So, yeah. So she did. She did. She read it. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to tell you this. When I hear you speaking more and more, I keep feeling like you're so much like me. <laughs> it's <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. Um, I also got hooked on romance novels when I was a teenager. <laughs> and for me, you know, a lot of people listen to podcasts. They read autobiographies. They read inspirational books. Well, for me, in order for me to really switch off, I just mm. listen to romance novels. <laughs> but and not not necessarily um i think more christian based now like more christian based yeah. romance novels for me right now but yeah that's what i what i listen to if i get to the point of you know i can really have some downtime um it's okay. crazy but i'm glad that you told her and you were able to let her know you know the impact that she had on your life and that you loved her um, so she did know, and that's beautiful. Um, I also have a thing about wanting to give people flowers when they're still alive. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. It's just that I feel that, you know, I want to make sure that people know mm -hmm. that they matter. Well, that's beautiful. I'll give you my address. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Uh, what is your life statement? Oh, you know, yeah. I wish you would have prepped me a little bit for this. <laughs> no, life... that's the beauty of it because, you know, um, it's off the cuff instead of something that is pre-thought. And I'll tell you, let me tell you quickly what mine is. Um, mine is to positively impact the lives of others. And I think yours has something to do with showing people that they matter well that i was just gonna say my i'm out to create one million people being free of the bondage that they hold so that they can share their story and that they know that they matter i love it yeah 
I love it. Um, and I think that's why you want to talk to me about video. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, you know, this is about the power of networking. So what's your take on networking? Like, what is your approach? Well, without it, your business will not die, number one. And number two, you get to meet so many incredible people. And number three, okay, so I have this thing that I do with my Saturday morning group. It's called the 411. So what's the one thing you could do to that you could do this month or this day or this week to get you to your goal? And so on my 411, I had listed that on my show would be Jack Canfield and Oprah Winfrey are my top two because I call myself the, the next up over Winfrey. For those of you that, you know, I've said it several times. So I have this one lady that says, Hey, Oprah, how are you doing when she messages me? So it's kind of cool. So anyways, so I had this conversation with somebody on Wednesday and I was networking with him. I had gotten his information from this other lady that's in Finland. So I, I had no idea what this guy was about. I just knew that I had to connect with him. Well, doesn't he know one of his first people on his show was actually on the Oprah Winfrey show and knows Jack Canfield. So guess who is one degree of separation from having Oprah Winfrey and Jack Canfield on their show. But that would never have happened if I would not have followed the lead and and talked to all these amazing people, you know. And, and some people are so afraid of doing that. But why? They're just people. What's the worst they could say? No. Okay. So th then you keep bugging the heck out of them until they say yes. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> You just put content out there that is going to attract them mm. to to come to you. It's all about the law of attraction and how, you know, and and networking, you know. Wow. That's what it's all about. Wow. Jack Canfield and Oprah Winfrey. I'm going to be there for that. <laughs> for sure. Um, uh -huh. And so that's your approach. You follow the lead. Um, and what is your, like, how has networking impacted you? I, you've told me about, you know, your friend that you met on LinkedIn mm -hmm. and now she's one of your best friends, which is wow. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. Well, and I also truly, I mean, I can make it through any situation, but am I going to make it through a better person or am I going to like thrive instead of just survive? And without those women in my life, I would have just survived. I wouldn't have to have thrived through watching my dad die for nine days. And, you know, obviously I still go in my grief modes and obviously it still hurts. And there are moments that I, you know, I, I just need to regroup and, and just be by myself for a little bit. And, but, and I would not have even had some of the tools that they've given me to get me through that without networking. So yeah. th that in itself is powerful. Not only not only that, like these women live in Indiana, Illinois, Texas, and Wisconsin. So they actually sent me flowers, were there, you know, any way that they could be there for me during that time, they were, they were there. Now, it's not about the, it's, it's not about, you know, oh, oh, I got flowers. But it, it was the fact of that they showed up, that they were there for me, they showed their love and support any way that they could. They listened to me when I was like, freaking out inside. And they just made sure that I was okay. And, you know, I, don't share that part usually <laughs> when I'm talking about things, but like I have shared the good, the bad and the ugly. Like I remember sharing a post of one of the days that I was like in huge grief mode and I had been crying and you can tell. So I took a picture of myself and I posted and I said, guys, this is what grief looks like, you know? So you have to be vulnerable with your network because to just tell them, Oh, every day is roses, you know, Number one, that doesn't, that's not natural. No. I don't know of anybody that has an every day is roses, you know? And so definitely share the good, the bad and the ugly with everybody, because that's, that's, that's how you're going to create impact. And that's how you're going to reach the right people. 
That's beautiful. Um, I have to show you, there's a quote that I have that I, I speak on quite a bit. And that is, it's an African proverb and it goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. Absolutely. And that is truly um, the way to move in life, right? right? Let's rather go far than go fast. Um, exactly. Okay. Let me ask you, how do you leverage a platform such as LinkedIn um, or networking groups? That is a good question. How do I leverage them? Well, I think it's you need to contribute, number one. Um, and definitely, so part of a system I use too is once I uh, reach out to somebody, I have a system where like I drip on them for eight days. So it could be a casual mention, hey, how are you doing? And stuff like that. But you want to create that that person's always going to remember you. And that's mm -hmm. for once... At, by the end of the eight days and then you just make a note say hey okay um and i also make sure if they're willing not a lot of some people aren't but most of them are definitely get them on a zoom call or something because i or a phone call because if they actually have seen you face to face too that's they're always going to remember that um mm -hmm. a text is is okay but definitely um get them on a zoom get them on a phone call get them in like live in person so that you're not just some other random person make them feel important and make you know you you have to invest okay so networking is investing if you think of it you're investing your time you're investing um you know sure. and i'm not saying every person i meet is a great investment but at sure. least i've impacted some way <laughs> and someone they know might be the right person that we need, yes. that I need to connect with. So it's all about how, and how can you help them? Mm. I never start a conversation with, Hey, how can you help me? How can I help you? And here's another thing. Okay. So this is another thing you're making. So I have hairy audacious goals. And one of my audacious hairy goals is to get one of my series that I have um, in my show to a live network and to be pitched for TV. The power of networking is I'm here. My business partner is in Florida right now. My business partner in a live networking event met a producer, a film producer. Guess who's mentoring me wow. to pitch my idea to TV? Wow. That's the power of networking collaboration people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let me show you another quote. Networking is more about farming than it is about hunting. It's about yes. cultivating relationships. And this is by Dr. Ivan Misner. I have a friend in my network. His name is John. And he speaks about hunting relationships. Yeah. You know, that's what he, he, his approach, that's his approach to networking. So before we wrap up, let's go back to the comments. They're on fire again. <laughs> And I apologize to everyone. I just wanted to get through my the questions so that we could, you know, bring um, value for you. So let's go back to the comments. And I'll start from the bottom and go back up. So uh, Ligia says, you two are awesome. Well, sis, I will say Ubuntu. I am because we are. And right. we're awesome because you're awesome. Um, you show up and... You support us in whichever way you can, which is so amazing. So thank you. And Naval is tuning in from India. Thank you for being here, Naval. Wow. Uh, Scott says, I've got to run Fab Show today, Inga and Dorothy. So oh, thank Scott. you. Thank you, Scott. And here he says, the basis of being a motivational listener started with a commitment in a blog post I made in 2011. Remind people they are remarkable. That's beautiful. I'm going to go back and read that for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Katie is talking to you, Dorothy. Hello. And Can we have a book club? Yeah. And Let's talk. Like because that's, that's what, yes, we'll talk.
<laughs> you know, it's so funny. I, um, it it was one of my goals to become an author um, since I was a teenager. And there was a period of time, I will say, where I just laid that idea down. Didn't think about it anymore. And um, yeah, <laughs> now I have. I've written one and I've published one, um, but I do have a few others in the pipeline, strangely enough. I didn't think I would ever be able to say that, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Can I just say that um, for five, five to six years, God told me I had to write a book and I told him no until the pan pandemic hit. And then he said, you have no excuse, girl, because now you have the time. Oh, and wow. so I actually wrote my book at the beginning of the pandemic. So if you have it on your heart and you keep saying no, you're eventually going to write it. So why don't you just write it now and impact the world now instead of waiting? Wow. Just saying. The, the and I'm saying that because it's for my own experience. Don't do yeah. what I did. <laughs> yeah. The time is now for sure. Um and then let's go quickly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Katie, Katie, every, and you too. Every time I talk to you, like I learn something new and that I love. She says, oh, I am loud and proud romance junkie. When you have a love story like mine, you just can't stop. I need to hear your love story, Katie. If you're still on. Oh my gosh. I also have a love story that uh, is very unorthodox, but yeah, if, if you're open to it, let's chat. <laughs> Absolutely. So when you talk about fantasy though, I'm kind of curious, what do you mean by fantasy? Is that like the sci-fi okay. stuff or oh. is fantasy like erotica fantasy or like, what are you talking about when you say fantasy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm Just not asking. That. I know. Uh, <laughs> Let's go to Jessica says, my mother in law is a stuff. huge body. Oh my God. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> okay. When I'm speaking about romance, I just mean clean romance. That's my, that's what I. <laughs> that's what you meant. But I'm wondering about Kate. Her and I are going to connect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I and, could take both. Yeah. Just, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Anyways, now that y'all think differently. <laughs> I need to, I need to plug in my laptop actually. Um, so I'm going to post a comment on here and if you could please read it and sure. I'll be right back. Absolutely. Yes. I know now why I met Katie Irwin, Maggie Bloom, Will Taylor, Inker, Dan Bigger, John Bungalow, Christy, Austin, Ruby, Ruby, Rishun, and all the team on the Usama FG Hour. LinkedIn has been my support group and teacher and my community, and I will ne have never felt so appreciated and heard and respected before in my life. Our impact is not always known. Our place in others' lives isn't always known. That is the power of networking. Absolutely. She just summed it all right up there in one show. We didn't need to do the yeah. show. We could have just put this up. <laughs> I know. Like, wow. And hello to you, Deirdre. Thank you. Hello. I see you tuning in from Cape Town. Awesome. Awesome. Alexandra says, legacy, Dorothy. And Alexandra and I just um, got connected, and she is one heck of a powerhouse. So if you don't know her, you need to know her. Um, and she will be on my show in a couple weeks i don't know the exact date um awesome. but you need to connect with her hello alexandria thank you for tuning in um i need some spice in my life so let's talk please you and i were supposed to meet um prior to me going on vacation but um it didn't work out so let's do it soon if you don't mind let me know your availability and let's get on it and Charanjeet says, knowledge of the day. Thank you, Charanjeet, for tuning in. Nice to see you. And oh my gosh, here's my 
good friend, Carl Sean Watkins, he says. He's a awesome. I love yeah. Carl. Thanks yeah. for join, joining us, Carl. Yes, he says, wow, what else could I ask for on this wonderful Friday morning? Two amazing souls. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for being here, Carl. Um, Carl and I had a, a call earlier this week, and man, <laughs> it was all about vulnerability. <laughs> and if you don't know Carl, um, connect with him. He is amazing, and he speaks about uh, being vulnerable and the power of it. So that's amazing. Um, thank you for being here. And may I add, that is a man talking about vulnerability, not a woman. So guys, just putting that out there that, you know, um, you can be vulnerable too. Yes. Yes. And I've, um, I've been through all, most of the comments and, oh, my friend, Lady C, Cecilia, thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Awesome to see you. And she's tuning in from Cape Town, South Africa. Um, another person that is amazing to connect with. I'll have to write that down. <laughs> Do you have a good list there? Uh, yes. Oh, Cecilia my God. Something's Lynch. happening yeah. with my computer. So if I leave, it's, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, there's an error that came up. And just quickly, Ligia says, I really appre appreciate you a lot and talking about networking. This is the living expression of real connections, my friend. No matter where or how real friendship is there. So, yes, thank you. And Dorothy, just quickly, um, do you have any last words for our viewers? Yes, absolutely. I would say whatever it is in your heart right now that you're going after or want to go after, go after it. Whatever anybody tells you, um, oh, you can't do that. That's just fuel to tell them, to prove them wrong. Um, and I'm saying that based on experience because, you know, I never, ever in a million years thought that I would be producing shows, writing a book or anything like that. Growing up, that wasn't what it was all about. I grew up where you had to have a job, work your nine to five, and that was it. And, you know, that was the dream that you were supposed to have. So um, never in my wildest dreams did I think of owning a production company. And yet here I am. So, um, and you matter. And don't ever think that you don't. And if you do, then reach out to me and we'll have a chat and we'll quickly revert that over <laughs> because um, every life matters and you have a story to tell. So start sharing your story. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can't that. just say one thing. I can't. That's not my DNA apparently. <laughs> Sorry. And let me highlight one more quote which is by Nelson Mandela. Um, and if you don't know, I am South African um, and I try to show and, you know, just support fellow South Africans. But regardless, his wisdom it was so profound. Um, and I know that he was well known and well respected the world over. And he said this. I love that. Always impossible until it's done. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. Dorothy, thank you so much for being here and for being thank my you. guest today. Um, and taking time out just to come and chat with us. Um, I, oh, my pleasure. And here, let me just post this. Oh, my gosh. Deirdre says, yes, I agree. We all have a story to tell. Exactly. Yeah. And Cecilia says, everyone's story matters. Yes. Beautiful. Jessica says, I'm looking to live my best life, which is what you're doing now. The nine to five grind is eating my soul. Whew. Wow. Um, Cecilia said, absolutely. I stand in agreement. Shut out the naysayers and listen to the voice inside saying that you can do it. Exactly. Yes. exactly. You can and you will. Yes. And don't give up. You know how many, okay, so you know how many businesses I've had in the past and I gave up on and like I just, there's something in me that it says now is not that I will never give up. That's amazing. 
So thank you, Dorothy, for being my guest today. And I'll send you back to the green room okay. um, while I wrap up. And thank you if you're watching still. Um, know that I appreciate you and that it's been an awesome session of back and forth comments. And I just, for me, I leave my show every week feeling so full of joy and hope and encouragement. So thank you for being here. Be blessed. And I'll see you back here next week for another episode of Inspiration from Anger. Before we go, I'd love to just acknowledge our sponsors. So here's our, our one sponsor was... Kindness Inspired, an awesome brand that I love to, to support. So thank you to Kindness Inspired. And thank you also to Island Spices. We appreciate you and thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Be blessed. See you next week for another episode of Inspiration from Inger. And if you didn't watch my intro video, I'm going to play it now so that you can see I, too, am human. Be blessed and take care. I hate videos. Now you may be wondering, if I hate videos, what the heck am I doing here?